You've just launched the International Gaming Affiliate Association. Why have you done that now? Uh, well, it's been on our minds for quite some time, actually. But right now, we're in a, reaching a really critical time uh, in the evolution of our gaming affiliate marketing. Um, we really need to present a united front to combat uh, the pressures of public opinion uh, that are really developing, particularly in the UK market. Uh, and now it's the time to professionalise and help educate affiliates on uh, how to be compliant uh, and help them uh, grow in, in terms of professionalisation and in terms of responsible marketing. What are you hoping that IGAA will be able to achieve in the next year or two in terms of what you just spoke of? Well, we're looking to obviously get a founding membership together to help us develop a code of practice by which uh, members, future members, uh, will work to. Uh, we'll be focusing on compliance uh, in the UK to start with. Um, the hope is to broaden that internationally. Um, in the next year or so, expect that to get set up. That's the first step. Uh, and then actually start evolving the education process. So we'll be looking at e-learning, uh, live events, uh, conferences like this, uh, to really help affiliates who many of them already comply fully with all data protection, uh, advertising standard laws, direct marketing laws that exist in the UK. Uh, it's a question of presenting that to the wider, wider public um, and helping those that aren't quite there yet, perhaps don't understand what's coming in the future. We've got GDPR around the corner, so for those people that collect data, um, that's a vital thing to get your heads around. So we're going to have compliance and legal support services, that is the plan, uh, to help people do that. Can I ask you specifically about Skybet uh, and its re recent actions and how that's impacted on the affiliates? Um, well, Skybet, obviously they presented a case as to why they closed their affiliate program. That was to do with regulatory concerns. Uh, it came on the back of one or two very bad press stories. Uh, I'll leave my personal feelings on the subjects aside, but what it has done is galvanized a sense of urgency uh, and a realization that times are changing uh, and we need to come together uh, and grow, whether that's the IGAA or individually, for those who choose not to be a member. Uh, that is a reality of the situation. And I don't predict many operators will go down that route, but there's certainly a case that there's a lot more pressure on us to do so.